today uh, let's look at a particular practical exercises and here I'm going to demonstrate how this particular practical is done. The real working exercises we'll be doing in our normal class uh, while uh, the lockdown is over and uh, the COVID-19 induced uh, silence is uh, no longer there. But anyway, uh, the interesting exercise that we are going to do is orientational behavior of insect larvae and this particular insect larvae will be most probably the first instar or the second instar larva of a particular insect which is called as Spodoptera lutea. Spodoptera lutea. This particular insect is a very interesting place on many of the agricultural crops in India and uh, uh, in many places of the world. So what we are going to do is you already know that the life cycle of an insect, especially for the holometabolus and the hemimetabolus, there is a slight difference. So there is one particular group of insect which is called as holometabolus and the other one is called as the hemimetabolus. When we talk about the holometabolus, it means the insect completes its life cycles from the egg, then comes the larva, the larva have different stages and uh, then it goes into pupa and then from pupa the adult having the wings and fly from here and there comes in the picture. So this is a complete metamorphosis. But when we talk about the hemimetabolus and hemimetabolus inside, they don't show this kind of complete metamorphosis. So they will lay the eggs and from eggs, uh, you know, the, uh, a miniature adult-like organisms or the individuals comes out. So they don't have the larval stages as such. Sometimes it is called as a nymph, uh, the non adult stages, then it becomes an adult. So this insect is a holometabolous insect. So it has an egg, then comes the larva. The first insta larva is, uh, the head is larger and black in color. And then comes the second uh, larval stage, then the third larval stage, then the fourth larval stage, then the fifth larval stage. And then it comes to pupa, and from pupa it becomes the adult. The adults meaning the uh, this adult. And then it lays the X, and from X the cycle complex. So here we are going to use the L1 stage or the L2 stage. This L1 is quite small, and sometimes it's very difficult to handle in the undergraduate class when we were 70, 80 of us ahead in the laboratory and when we make a group. So the best thing is you take the L2 stage, but in the laboratory we tend to use the L1 stage also. L2 stage you can use it either L1 or L2. So this particular larva of the insect we collect it and we are going to use this particular um, the instruments for this particular exercise. So uh, by the way, what we are going to do is uh, first of all, we will collect this particular L1 stage in a filter paper, wet filter paper. Then you can uh, put in the dry filter paper and after the filter paper, pick off, okay, 10 of this particular larva with the help of a fine brush and then put it in a particular glass tunnel which looks like this. It is open from this side and this side also. And here 5 centimeters, 5 centimeters, we can tie a thread and you know that this is the middle portions of, so you can mark with the help of the uh, permanent marker, so mark it here in the center and then we have a particular light source here, so you have a light source, the bulb is there, but uh, it is a black box and a small slit is opening so that the beam of light is passing through this particular tunnel and it's an open one and what we will do is with the help of a fine uh, camel brush you try to pick up this uh, larva from the filter paper and put it here in the middle portions and to demarcate this particular glass cylinders 5 centimeters 5 centimeters 5 centimeters we try a thread or you can draw a line so, so for example this is the glass okay, tunnel which is open from both the side and I'm just marking 5 centimeters from the edge and 5 centimeters from the edge here red one and the yellow so the, here uh, you see there are three chambers this is a middle chamber this is a chamber which will be away from the source of light and this will be towards the source of light and what we will do is by picking up the larva from here with the help of a fine brush 
you try to put in the middle portion so we have I have marked here for example so please try to insert and drop the larva here and we'll be keeping in this particular stain like this and what we do is so this is the source of light so I'll just stop. so this is the source of light but this particular source of light which radiates out okay lights in different directions will be prevented from doing so by covering with a gate and it is provided with a middle hole center you know the hole and this particular center the beam of light should be directly passing so what i will do is let's try to keep it here it's exactly at the center right so we try to move a little bit and you can see from this side yes it is exactly at the center so this is a source of the light and this is the other end of the tunnel and what we will be doing is with the help of suppose for example like with a filter paper this is just a demonstrative exercises which you can do in the practical so this is a wax glass or any kind of petri dish you take it uh, put the larva in this particular okay, petri dish and pick up from the filter paper one by one ten of them please drop in the center in the, in the center and what we will be doing is say for example after uh, five minutes or so try to find out where this particular larvae are moving that is towards the source of light or away from the light and very interestingly in the case of the spodoptera lutera the l1 and the l2 stage they try to move towards the source of the light but as and when you Okay, find the later one stages when you come to the L4 and L5, they started moving away from the, uh, the, 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 the direction of the movement will be different. This is an exercise on the texas. Why is it called the texas? It is moving towards the source of, towards the particular stimulus. We already know in our earlier exercise that uh, the movement of the uh, animals with respect to the intensity of the stimulus is what we call as the kinesis that we studied in the case of wood flies. You provide the wet conditions and dry conditions, but here in the case, there is a source of light and there is no source of light. This is darker end, so we'll be putting this particular room's light off. And the only source of light available in this particular exercise is this particular source of light. So this is a positive end and the negative end, and try to find out all the ten larva, how many larva occupy the first chamber, which is towards the source of the light, or the one which is away from the light. So that's how this particular exercise is being done. It's a very simple exercise, but it really gives us a meaningful, fundamental idea that orientation towards a particular source of the stimulus is extremely important for the survival of an organism. Uh, a certain animals at certain life stages, life cycle part will move towards the source of life. At the others, okay, part at the other stages of the life cycles, they move, they may move away from this particular positively stimulating source of life. So, what is the evolutionary significance behind this, so and so forth, is something that should be okay posing a lot of interesting question to us. So, when we release the larva here at this particular tunnel. This particular animal is trying to compare okay, where is the source of light and where is the darkness and by this particular comparison is able to orient itself to the perfect ambient conditions. So uh, this is an orientational behavior of the in insect, Spodoptera lutera. Spodoptera lutera is considered, you can consider any of this particular larva. The one thing that you can do if you are interested enough is in the case of maggots. The larvae of the flies can also be extensively used for this exercise. Uh, uh, Spodoptera lutera is given in the syllabus because in Delhi University we have a lot of scholars working in Spodoptera lutera, and when they culture in their insectarium, uh, batches and batches of this larva, so sharing of hundreds or two hundreds of this particular larva to the undergrad uh, college is quite comfortable. Uh, that was one of the reasons why this particular model insect was chosen. Not only that, Spodoptera lutera also plays a very interesting and very important economic uh, role as one of the very okay, serious pests of the Indian agriculture uh, and the agricultural fields. Thank you so much. And let's see uh, some of the exercise again. Thank you.